hello guys welcome back to my channel this is tay and in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to sew this blouse that you can see here in my previous tutorial i showed you how to draft out the pattern so today we're going to be joining the pieces together if this is something you're interested in keep on watching and let's get started as you can see i've gone ahead to cut out the fabric using the pattern pieces and i've added the sewing allowances as well my size sewing allowance is one inch and all round i have 0 0.5 inch i've gone ahead to cut my lining pieces as well just as you can see and for my yoke i cut out two pieces just as you can see we're going to be using one as the lining and one as the main fabric next i'm going to go ahead to iron my gum stay on it for the sleeve i'm going to be using the hard gum stay if you have the peplum stay you can use that as well as you can see i've gone ahead to iron the tissue stay the st and the hard gum stay on the required piece i also went ahead to part the cup part of my front piece as well so the next thing we'll be doing now is to join the pieces together here is the front piece and I'll go ahead to stitch it down just like this and I'll do the same to the other side and repeat the same process on the lining piece as well. For the yoke part, I'm just going to go ahead to stitch down the neck and the triangles and turn it over and also iron as well. For the back, I'm going to sew each piece as well to become one and I'm going to go ahead to close the zipper allowance with the gather stitch. This is all the pieces put together after I had sewn them and ironed as well. The next thing I'm going to do is to sew my red line boning onto the fabric. I've gone ahead to sew the red line boning onto the fabric. I ended up doing it just to the front piece and I've attached the yoke to the front neckline just as you can see. Next thing I'm going to do now is to lose the gather stitch I made at the zipper allowance and then take each piece of the back and attach it side by side using the side seam allowance to the front piece and I'll repeat the same process for the lining piece as well so I did that and ironed I went ahead to pin the main fabric to the lining piece at the neckline region for both the front and back and I'll go ahead to stitch it and stitch the down part as well so this is it after i stitched it i went ahead to iron it as well you can see it's looking all neat and nice all seam allowances and threads are inside so there were no intentions of attaching the regiline bone in to any other parts other than the front part of the fabric but now i'll go ahead and attach it to the side and iron and then come back to show you guys as you can see i've attached one part of the shoulder i'll use the second part to explain how i did it so place your shoulder both front and back sides facing each other just as you can see make sure that the neck points are on top of each other they are meeting then you take one piece from the back because you know we have both the lining and the fabric so you take the fabric and use it to turn both the front yoke and the lining piece inside i hope that makes sense but just watch what i'm doing closely and you'll understand and then go ahead to stitch it with your 0 0.5 inch sewing allowance and there you have it neatly torn so that is done i'll go ahead to attach my zipper next i'll take my sleeve both fabric and lining right sides facing each other and head over to my machine to stitch the down parts with half of an inch this is it after I've stitched and ironed. Next, I'm going to fold it to the side and go ahead to stitch with the one inch sewing allowance that I added. This way, there won't be any seam allowances on the outside by the time we turn it. Here it says I've attached the zipper and I've ironed as well. You can see it's looking all neat and nice. Here is the sleeve as well. I've stitched, ironed and turned it out to the right side. Next, I'll be attaching it to the blouse at the armhole. Remember I said we're going to make little gathers at the shoulder parts just so that it fits into the armhole. I'll just go ahead and do that on my machine. And that is all for the sewing of this blouse. You can see here the final work. I hope you enjoyed and understood the whole process. If you have any questions, please do leave it in the comment section. I'll reply. Do not forget to like, share 
and subscribe please do subscribe thank you guys for watching i'll see you in my next video bye Thank you.